per usual, the comment section here on Gatji has been alive and well, and there's a comment that stands out because we've been getting it quite a bit, and it's, we want to see you guys naked. Now, <laughs> we have GotGToesOnly.com yeah. for that, and to satisfy those folks, you have to go check it out. But the other question has been, what the hell is in your Nintendo Switch collection? Yes, we haven't done a collection video in a long time, yeah. and our Switch collection is pretty freaking mighty. It keeps growing. Yeah. When we got the games, I was like, holy crap, we have a lot of Switch games. Well, a little backstory on this is this is the, I think the only new console that we have both got at the same time. Yep since the channel launched like five and a half years yeah. ago. So we, we both have been chipping away at this collection. We've been collecting for because it. Because of the channel, we just throw it all here in the <laughs> game room and then Robert just takes whatever he needs to go over to his place and whatever. So there's a lot here. We did our best to cut it up by genre, if you will, which gamers, you know, there are those games that like, there are people out there that say Mega Man is a run and gun game. I think run and gun games get kind of misused quite a bit. I think. Mega Man's more of a platformer than a, platform. a run, running game, but, game. But it's hard, you know, it's hard to... We did our best to cut into these, um, but speaking of, we're going to jump into the run and gun games yes. we have on the Nintendo Switch. We have a lot of them. I'm just going to go down the middle. Hands you have, oh, I'll take yeah, half. Um, I'll start with two, a two for Sutherland right at the beginning. We just got this. The Turrican Volume 1 and Volume 2 collection that came out from Strictly Limited. Dude, these games are yeah. freaking incredible. And I love that it's a, the anthology, yep. so it comes with a lot of games. Yeah, and uh, you know, it's got uh, the Mega Turrican from the Genesis. It's got the Super Turrican. Tons of Turrican. Love me some Turrican. I don't think I love Turrican as as much as some other people do there but are it's, but it's, it's still it's really good. good yeah the zigzagging back and forth i wish it was just a little more linear yeah. but i felt like i was never going to pay the money to get these on the older consoles and this is a great way yes yeah, great yeah, way to have them to so have them. Yeah. yeah um one that we just beat on stream uh, uh i would say a spiritual successor to sunset riders yes death wish enforcers i had such high hopes for this game and it kind of disappointed me yeah we beat it we got through it but it's not a game I think I'm going to revisit. I had more fun the second time we played through it, but I'm with you. Yeah. It, it it had every... It was this freaking close. It was too slow. It was And it was just like, it, you were so close to it being a great game, and then you just didn't get it right. A game that I really liked from Natsume. I like, I've always liked the series. Um, and I was looking so forward to this, and it delivered Pocky and Rocky Reshrun. Oh, Let's go. In, How you doing? Incredible. Pocky yeah. and Rocky games. And I love that it's also hard, like all the other Pocky yeah. and Rocky games. A modern running gun game that got completely shit on... Um, I don't say I would give this a ton of praise, but I don't think it's as bad as people said it was. I just don't think people played it. <laughs> Contra Rogue Corps. Yeah. Um, if you could get it on the cheap, there is some fun to be had. Again, it's, it's different. It's not an all-timer. It's different. But I don't think it's as bad as people yeah. said it was. And then one of, in my opinion, the best running gun games that is uh, of the modern scene, but it's retro-inspired, uh, is Hunt Down. Oh, this is Bam. one of my favorite games I played this year. Yeah. Hunt Down is incredible. It's amazing. And the shitty part, and this is just how it goes when you collect, we've been sitting on that thing since it came out. Yeah, but we just didn't get around to and flipping we, it. We were always like, dude, I, I really want to play that. Play yeah, we got to finish this, got to finish this, got to finish this. And then, uh, yeah. There's a few others uh, in this genre. Gigantic Army. This is a game I don't know much about, but just looking at the back, it looks pretty badass. It's kind of a mech running gun. Maybe it would fall more in line with like kind of some of the Turk and stuff. A little but, bit, yeah, a little yeah. bit like that. Um, and then we got the Mummy Demastered. This is a game that a lot of people talk about yeah, it. a lot get, of people say you guys need to play yeah. this i haven't played it yet <laughs> that is a copy we got from our buddy owen yes and he speech. highly recommended it we we pissed around with it one day but we haven't beat it yet and then uh this game both these games we just recently beat i think on stream that's guns gore and cannoli one and two yep this is sealed but we have the digital version so we do have two versions of it yeah uh this Couldn't is wait to play it so, fantastic yeah. freaking game yep. And then we got Blazing Chrome. Oh, another fantastic run and gun game that is incredible. And then Sturmfront, The Mutant War, which is just a badass run and gun. Yeah. Freaking metal, dude. Yeah, top down <laughs> view, great music, um, and all that stuff. Well, we'll get these off the table, out of the way, so we can uh, keep going. Let's dive into a smaller uh, set that we have, and uh, we'll divide and conquer here as well. Um, this is like kind of our. I don't know, Action Adventure, Metroidvania stuff. Metroidvania, yeah. yeah. So the first one we got is Axiom Verge 1 and 2. This is actually still sealed because we haven't gotten around to playing the second one yet. We played the first one on Wii U. Yep. We also have it on PS4, Switch. Like, we have it on everything, but we haven't gotten around to diving into 2 yet. Yep. I've, I've dabbled with it on other people's Switches and stuff, yep. um, but one day, we, one day we will. Yeah. And then you're sitting on a hammer, right? Yeah, there. and then Metroid freaking Dread. Dude, when this game came out, I was obsessed. We could not stop playing this. Beautiful game, hard game, 
fantastic. And I love that when we finished it, we were like, oh, we missed so many things. Yeah. <laughs> um, another action adventure. Got a little bit of Metroidvania in it, I feel like. So I went with Guacamelee uh, 1 and 2. Yep. I've played the first one all the way through on the Vita, never got to the second oh, one. But yeah. when the collection came out, I was like, ooh, I haven't played the second one. And I can play the first one on the Switch. Decided to go that route. And then one that I think every Switch owner should have. Don't want to ruffle any feathers. I feel like it's a smidge overrated, but I do like oh, it. Ooh. Hollow Knight. I do like it. I really liked it when I first got it and I went through like the first like half of the game. Yep. And to me, it just kind of got a little tired. It's really good. It's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now let's move on to another small collection. And these are kind of RPG-esque. So we only got three of them. Uh, we got Collection of Mana, and then we got the Shin Megami Tensei 3 and 5, I believe. Yep. I'm not big in RPGs, but these are pretty good. Yeah. These are pretty good RPGs. Yeah, the Collection of Mana I really wanted to get because Secret of Mana is one of my favorite RPGs ever. And uh, the Shin Megami Tensei games, I got on deal like a Best Buy Black Friday thing, and I've wanted to get into this series. So you and like the price is on so many of them, and I, I played through, I think, like the first or second one, and I really liked it with my brother, and then... Here I am trying to get back into it. And when will I find the time? I don't know. Yeah, but at least you have it. Yeah. So then when you do find the time, you can jump into it. You know? Yeah, so we have a cluster of games here that I, I guess we bucketized as sports games. Sports okay? games. And that could include various things. But uh, first thing, it is a sport. Mario Strikers. Mario Strikers. Yeah. Battle League. Love me some soccer. I still like the original Strikers better, but still fun. And I'm glad we have an entry on the Switch. Cruise and Blast. <laughs> oh, dude, I remember playing this at our buddy Joe's house. It's so fun. Dumb fun. Dumb fun. Just arcade fun. Pretty shallow game. What do you want in a cruising game? You just want to have a good time. This game's fun. Keeps the races close. Has nice rubber banding. First time you play it, you can maybe beat a guy that owns the game. It's just fun. It's just I like it, that type of yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's just you can have a few beers and yeah. just laugh, you know. Mutant Football League. If you have been around for a <laughs> while, you know our affinity for just arcade sports. Yeah. And I won't put this on the, the Blitz games level, but dang it, it is really close. Tim Kitzrow on the announcing bizarre bizarre stuff happens players yeah. can die players can die people yeah. can fall into ice holes get yeah. eaten by chain like your yeah. rip saws yeah like, it's just ridiculous it's it's stupid fun and there was rumors there was supposed to be a hockey one but we haven't got that uh, um knows. but we do love that game and then you gotta have smash ultimate you gotta have smash and then speaking of a game you gotta have mario kart 8 deluxe uh fantastic game that has amazing staying power because they've been releasing tracks dlc we just completed all gold 200 mm -hmm. on all the new tracks so you know this game is uh we're kind of done with it <laughs> Not, but i love this game yeah <laughs> and then we got big rumble creed champions boxing you love your boxing game yeah so, so this game is not God dang it. it. It's fun. It's fun in the way that I thought Rocky on PS2 was fun. And that I love some of those dodgy boxing games on Genesis. I can't highly recommend it, but if you're into boxing games like that on that level, where you want to play all of them, it's fun enough to pick up on the level. Yeah, I, I do like it. If you're into boxing games. And the last one is Wind Jammers 2. This is a game that I've only dabbled with, but... It's another one of those arcade stupid fun. You're like throwing frisbees. I don't even know what exactly the sport is, but I know it's fun. Yeah, and it's, I love the art style. Yeah. Very it's, cartoony. It, it's fun if you if you like those, uh, you know, pick up and play sports games. And always that, that series, uh, the first one even reminded me a little bit of like dodgeball on the A little NES. bit, yeah. yeah. Just like it's dumb, but you like it. Yeah, so uh, shooters. Oh, hell yeah. And when we say shooters on the channel, we mean spaceship shooters or shmups. First one, we have uh, the Raystorm Collection. This just came out, um, if memory serves me, and this um, there's various terms for one of the games on here being Layer Section, yeah. and it's named various things depending on when it was released, but this is a collection of, of Raystorm and uh, Ray Crisis. So, um, and then Tanmaku Unlimited. So we got this one as well. I have not played this one. I have played the hell out of layer section, but I haven't played Ray Crisis. I haven't played it, but so, we love our freaking schmucks. And dude. then you're sitting on what I think is a holy grail. Yeah, on this the is console. this is a volume one, two, and three of the Sikio shooters, the collection. These are fantastic because they're each one has four different shooters in it. So these are them holding twelve shooters right here. Freaking fantastic. These are great when we're traveling and you can just play it on the road. Yeah, I just they're awesome games to just. You got I mean, Gunbird, Strikers 1945. You got uh, Gunbird 2, Dragon Blade, Strikers 1945 again. Zero Gunner. Like, it's just great. They're loaded. Yeah, yeah great freaking schmutz. Yeah, I uh, remember when these came out. I think I got them from Play Asia. I was like, yeah, yeah. I'm going to have all of these. Um, 
Yeah, you have. I love that. Like Strikers, nineteen forty-five has one, two, and three. Yeah, like, like you couldn't just change the number. Just make it nineteen forty-six. Yeah, Dragon <laughs> Blaze, Soul Divide. I mean, yeah, just just loaded with some good Fantastic stuff. Fantastic games. Must own stuff. And real quick before we wrap up the shooters, Radiant Silver Gun, still sealed, just arrived in the mail right before filming this. An arcade and Sega Saturn staple on the Nintendo Switch. Pretty excited to add this one to the collection. Yeah. So we get into some platformers here. You can start, because that Ooh, was the first this, game we got on the console. This is the first game we ever got over the Nintendo Switch, and that's Super Mario Odyssey. I got this when I got the original Switch. Fantastic freaking Mario game. This is a game that when I got the Switch and this, I couldn't stop playing. You know, I had to be, beat it. I was like staying in, up late in bed playing yeah. it. Like, it's fantastic. This game's went up in value a little bit. Yeah, this is the Super Mario 3D All-Stars Collection, so it comes with Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy. Uh, I could do without one of the three games, but <laughs> uh, it's, it's a pretty cool collection, and it is it is kind of cool that it's all together, you know? Had a limited release yeah. window, though, yeah. which is why it's going up in value, and it, it was curious to me that they didn't put Odyssey, or Galaxy 2, rather. On yeah, there. it's weird. I don't weird. know why they did that. But. Uh, but you got three of the games, and then this is a really cool game. We haven't beat the first one, so that's why this is still sealed, because we want to beat the first one first. This is the AVGN 1 and 2 Deluxe on Switch, which yep. is fantastic. We have the first one on Wii U. Great games, but really hard and really yeah. funny. Yeah. Like, <laughs> this is one of those games I referred to kind of earlier where a lot of people call this a running gun. I do not. It's I call a that a platformer. Yeah. But it's but also... Your guy has a gun, they also, and he's kind of running. But... But it's not a running gun. And they pay homage to all different types yeah, of video games. Yep. Like, every level's different, you know, so... Um, recent pickup, we just 100 percent it. Super Mario Wonder. Check, check, um, check. Yeah, they, they did a great job. Uh, just started this game after Wonder. Uh, so far, it's kind of just okay. Uh, uh, Sonic uh, Superstars, it's better than I thought it would be, but it's just okay. Um, I don't like it. <laughs> new pickup, Super Chariot, a puzzle platformer, I guess how I would call it. You really have to work together in a co-op atmosphere. We spent some time with it. I seems a little slow. Seems a little slow. Yeah. I don't get it. I don't know if it picks up later. But this is another game I think people may say is a running gun. I still think this is more of a platformer, but it's really cool. Val Ferris. Oh, dude. Metal soundtrack. Yeah, do you like fucking heavy metal? Hard as hell. We'll chew you it's, up. But you got the music to keep you going. Oh, yeah. it's, it's a fantastic yeah. game. Uh, let me pick up a miscellaneous pile. We didn't know what to do with these four. Yeah, yeah. So I'll give you these two. Okay. Um, we got, first off, Star Wars Pinball. Like, where's that going to go? Sports? I don't know. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> and then we got Catherine Full Body. I don't know much about this game, to be honest. Yeah, it's a, it's a puzzle, uh, adventure puzzle game uh, okay. by Atlas. And uh, oh, this Atlas game's been around for a while. I used to have it on PS3, never got around to playing it, so I got rid of it. And then this oh, and came then, out. Then this was like, like the let deluxe me, version let of it. Let me rebuy it. Yeah, yeah. Because, <laughs> well, it was uh, when I got those Shimigami Tensei games, they were like 10 bucks a piece. Oh, so you were like, hell yeah. yeah. And it was picked over, so I had to get, get some stuff. <laughs> uh, Katamari Damacy Reroll. This was picked up because someone in a stream said we had to play it. And I haven't played any of the uh, Katamari games since the PS2. Yes, I haven't played them either. And I figured this may be a fun game to stream, but we haven't done it. A that lot yet. of people, I think a few people in the stream has been like, have you played yeah. it yet? Have you played it yet? No, but we'll get to it. <sighs> super Mario Party. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> I just, yeah, I'm just not super into those games. Um, it, I haven't been since N64. They're fine. GameCube, maybe. They're fine. I just, I'd rather just, I like the mini game part, but they just kind of feels too long. Yeah. I play it like at parties sometimes, so... You would think we would have more beat em ups. There are some other games that we are going to get to at the end of this that may fall into this category that yes. are like our big box games. But for the beat em ups we have, we'll divide and conquer here. A couple Double Dragon games. Double Dragon Neon, which is kind of a more of a modern art style for the yeah. Double Dragon. And then a return to form, I feel like, with the art style in Double Dragon and Gaiden Rise of the Dragons. We've only dabbled with both of these. Yes. I think we're gonna Rise get of the Dragons is be the better of the two, but I. Can't say We're that gonna get into them, and because we do want to beat them. Yeah. And then this is another game that I was obsessed with, Marvel Ultimate Alliance Three. Uh, fantastic game. If you're into the Ultimate Alliance series, Three is, I think, the best. Uh, I mean, they're all great, but I love this game. I love how many characters are in it. Mm -hmm. And then we got Raging Justice, which is pretty good beat 'em up. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Um, you're into Streets of Rage. Yeah. It, it reminds me of all those like Streets of Rage knock Final Fight knockoffs yes. during the Super Nintendo era. They weren't horrible. <laughs> But when you picked him up and wanted Streets of Rage it, yeah, or it's Final not Fight, not quite as good yeah, as those, yeah. but it's still it's still fun. Yeah. So, um, so here's a, a weak spot in our collection, I would say. So we kind of grouped it together. Um, 
and yeah, it's kind of again weird categories but um bolt gun uh first person shooter we have some third person shooters in here as well just picked that up again on a recommendation from the streams you guys come into the streams and spend a lot of money yeah. um <laughs> Metroid Prime money. <laughs> remastered it's kind of an action adventure but it does have the first this is where we bucketized it but uh i am working yeah, through you're, this you're right playing now. it right now and it looks freaking beautiful first time i've played the game since it originally came out of the GameCube, and I'm loving it. Like 20 years ago, I'm like ago, McDonald's, dude. man. I'm <laughs> it. And then we got Splatoon 3, which I've dabbled with. Uh, I haven't spent a lot of time with it, but I, Splatoon games are fantastic. And then Rico, which kind of, it starts off being cool, and then it just feels a little monotonous. It yeah. feels a little repetitive, and it's not so, as cool as I thought. I was thinking it was going to be a lot like 13, you know, the cel-shaded art style. Yeah, that's what it really felt cool. like initially, and then it and just... I, I will say this is just our CIB stuff, Splatoon 3, if you're like, Where, where's 2? I have it cart only, which bothers me, but I got it for ten dollars at the pawn shop. What are you gonna do? I'm just thinking I'll find the case <laughs> yeah, at some okay. point, and it may be in an updated video somewhere down the line. We got one more stack before we jump into our uh, yeah big box stuff, and this is kind of just the I don't know open adventure action, action adventure, adventure yeah. games. Um, obviously, you got Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, which we played a ton yep. this year. Fantastic freak, my first Zelda game that I beat. Well, Fantastic. I will uh, triple stamp your double stamp, Lloyd. Zelda Breath of the Wild. Yep. This is not how I played the game. I played it on the Wii U, but this is how Robert has played the game. So, <laughs> yes. yeah. And then we got Luigi's Mansion 3, which I need to get back to. Yep. We're about halfway through it, but we quit playing it because Halloween was over a few years mm -hmm. ago. And uh, But I did really like it. This is a game that came out that I was super pumped about. Um, and I really liked it. And it's a game kind of like it was around. I feel like we got into it around the time we got into Luigi's Mansion so Three, too, yeah. Astral Chain. I think it came out a month before. And we made a really big dent in this, but it was just stricken from a fire hose of good games that we wanted to play. And so, so that's one we have to get back yeah, to. Yeah, it is a really cool game. And then we got Steel Assault. This is a limited run game. I I don't think I've ever played this game to be honest. Uh, but it's a, it's just a retro style action platformer. Yep. It looks pretty cool. Um, we'll get to it eventually. Yep, that came on another recommendation from somebody. Oh, it was another stream. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, a lot of these games, this is like, I don't know where this came from. Oh, somebody recommended yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> um, Link's Awakening, uh, the remake. Um, I am going to get to this eventually. And Robert and I have talked, this may be your first traditional yep. Zelda yeah. game because uh, Robert had never beat a Zelda game until Tears of the Porn. Yeah. So, yeah. So then this goes back to the yeah. form. And then speaking of Zelda, we got Zelda Skyward Sword HD, yep. which is just a great freaking HD remaster. A great game, you know? And I have this on the Wii, but I grabbed this at a pawn shop for 10 bucks. <laughs> I'll get to it at some point. You can't freaking beat it. Yeah, that. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to hang on to that. And then this game probably should go in a different category, but we messed up. Demon Throttle. This yeah. is kind of like a run and gun Pocky and Rocky S game. Yeah, you but know? it gives you the vibe when you put it in, like, oh, it's Dungeon Crawler. Mm, but not more quite. Run and gun. Yeah, yeah, so it's in the wrong category, but we still got it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And then uh, Star Wars. You could talk about this. The Skywalker Saga. The Lego dude. Star Wars. Yeah. Dude, I was obsessed with this game. I, no joke, am like 10 blue bricks away from 100%ing Lego Star Wars. They complete with everything. <laughs> Got everything unlocked. It's wild. Yeah, let's jump into some of this weird collectible big box type stuff. Yeah, we don't have We many, don't have a ton in this area. But, but we got some freaking yeah. bangers. This one, I, I love freaking steel boxes. We got freaking Kalate. I don't know how to say this. <laughs> Kaladrius Blaze. I think it's how you say it. I don't know much about this game. Oh, it's a shooter, dude. Hell yeah, that yeah. looks freaking badass. And it's a steel box. Yeah. Freaking awesome. Light gun game. I think it was a swing and a miss, but we had to have it. Um, House of the Dead, the remake. Uh, we put it in here because it has a nice slip sleeve, which a lot of games didn't come with, with a hologram on the front. Uh, we 100% of it. So we, yeah. never, so we never have to play it again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there you go. Uh, this is a fantastic modern retro style game. TMNT Shredder's Revenge. I love that this big box comes in a VHS style yep. box. It's fantastic. We talked about this game recently in one of our videos. Uh, Turtles Retro Awesomeness. Big box of Pigeon Dev Games Collection. Now, this collection, I don't know a ton about it except for one thing in particular. Awesome, awesome P, P and Awesome P2 are badass. And Awesome P1 will drive you freaking nuts. Haven't played a ton of Awesome P2, but it's one of those games you just have to keep playing if you've played Super Meat Boy and you understand the difficulty, the platforming and those type of things. You'd be right home with awesome it, It's a speed game. But it's, it is also very pick up and play. It's a game you can just dive in, oh. and maybe it'll suck you in for two hours, but maybe you can get in and out of a level in like 20 yeah, minutes. Yeah, it's fantastic. And then we got this Scott Pilgrim vs. the World Complete Edition Big Box. The Big Box is cool, but honestly, I don't like this game. I was kind of overwhelmed 
or underwhelmed by it. Yeah, I, I kind of think it may be a little bit overrated. We need to give it another go. Yeah. But, uh, I'm glad we have it, though. Yeah. And then this is such a cool big box. This is the Panzer Dragoon, but it's shaped like a freaking Sega Saturn game. Yeah. Freaking incredible, and dude. Incredible. As much as I was excited for this, I would still rather play the original. Oh, really? I, I would. But the big I appreciate it. I do. I'm glad they did it. But And then, a Genesis game that we thought would never see the light of day. Ultra Core. <laughs> do I regret that I bought it on the Switch and not the Genesis? Yes, I do. Am I happy we have the big box? Yes. Yes, I am. Yes. Did this game up there. Did this game shut down the channel and we beat it in an entire weekend? Yes, we did. Oh, dude, it's awesome. It's incredible, but it also can get you in sticky situations because of the save states. Yeah. Like, like halfway through, you get codes, you know? Depending on where you saved it, if you had no lives and you had no deaths, <laughs> yeah. that's where it's going to save. So. Now you're on a no-death run. Okay. <laughs> and that's, that's, dude, that's, we got stuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were ruined. But we did beat it. Yeah, we did. Yeah. With only one life. <laughs> a lot of good stuff. A lot of stuff we haven't got to, you know. Yeah, it, a lot of these are new. The, the backlog is just uh, crazy. Just new games we've picked up this year even. It's like, holy cow. And we've beat a lot of games this year. Yeah, we have. Man, it's just like never-ending, but it's, it's also awesome. It's been really fun to go through the Switch together i mean everything we know about the switch has happened together since we yeah. started the channel um a couple other things that i guess people may wonder is like what version of the console do we have um i have the splatoon 3 oled version which is freaking beautiful you're still rocking the original i'm still rocking the og I not even it. the updated version. no like yeah. the original yeah. like i bought it when we started the channel yeah. like four or five years ago dude yeah we both have the uh splatoon pro controllers yeah which is fantastic um i think yours is the three and mine's the original splatoon one or yep. splatoon 2 version um we do have some wired um uh, the, the hori pro controllers those are, those are nice. pretty good yeah and then uh, we do have at least two, minus the Genesis, because we have the RetroBit Genesis, Genesis controllers. We do have the NES, SNES, and N64. Yes, you just got the N64 yeah, ones, which uh, are awesome. Controllers to use on the online portion. Um, and then we yeah. got a plethora of Joy Cons and, yeah. and stuff like that. It, and what's really cool is I got a really small GameCube looking dock for my switch at home because we got a dock here so just so i can easily move it yeah and, you know? and then you can it actually has ports it actually GameCube. has gamecube ports on it yeah. so it's it's pretty sweet i would say that is one of the most used assets on the switch that we have is the dongle for gamecube controllers and that dock you yeah. have for gamecube controllers it's, for mario kart yeah because yeah. that's how we play the freaking games we play yeah and i i'm sure there are people out there that are like hey no big deal guys i've got this but guys together because we only play the game together together we have logged 150 hours into Mario Kart. Yeah. Together. Which is insane. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable. Like, yeah. what? Yeah. <laughs> That's like more time than we spent on Zelda. <laughs> Coming from two guys that have said for five and a half years, we don't have enough time to beat RPGs. <laughs> We put, I, we put 150 hours into Mario. Kart. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, but anyway, hopefully that gives you guys kind of a inside look at what we we have played some on the Switch and then what we hope to get to. Um, it's really fun to collect for the Switch, and I think a big part of the fun is all these weird indie titles yes. that pop up that are they're kind of hit or miss, and and sometimes you have to get them while the getting's good. Or you're never going to get the physical copy. Yeah, because they're so expensive. Well, what's really cool is if if it is expensive physically, you can get it digitally. I yep. know that's not ideal for some people, but at least you can play the game. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. It's just, it's really nice, you know. And I didn't realize our collection was this big. No. It kind of just keeps stacking up, and I was like, holy fuck. Yeah, where yeah, are these yeah. games coming from? Yeah, that doesn't even include the 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 cart-only games that we have, because I if I find them in a pawn shop for 5 or 10 bucks, I'm getting them. Yeah, that's you awesome. Know? And it's, you could just throw them in the bag, yeah. take them on trips, and be like, hell yeah. yeah. But we wanted to show what we have CIB. That's all we got. Yep. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, and in the comment section below, let us know if there's anything in the collection that you've seen that you're like, holy shit, I've been wanting to play that. Or if maybe it's one of your favorite games of all time. We would or love to hear it. what game should we pick it up? Hey, <laughs> now, now, we're, now we're talking. Maybe we'll be expanding on that collection. But uh, we appreciate you tuning in. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time right here on the one and only Gaming Off The Grid. Yeah.